All right, so Fortnite is apparently starting to do mini cinematic trailers for Battle Pass skins. So this is actually really cool. So if you remember, one day before Season 2 dropped, we got a cinematic teaser trailer. So it was only 20 seconds long, and I'll play it here in the background just in case you forgot. So basically it started with the Artemis skin, and then we saw the Cerberus wolves switch to Hades in the River Styx. And then Ares came flying down with Hades' whip, and we still haven't seen that yet in-game, or the Deagle. And then it shows Zeus's lightning bolt at the end. So a few people noticed that some of these clips looked a little out of place, like they were cut from something else. And it turns out that was actually true. So the other day, Fortnite actually dropped the first of these cinematic short trailers. And it was for none other than Artemis herself. So I'll show you the trailer in full in just a second. But we got to talk about something first. So at the start of the cinematic teaser that we got, again, a day before the season dropped, right at the start, people paused it right here. So this is Artemis looking down the scope of her weapon. I think that's the new DMR. And in it, you can see a tiny figure. Now I'll zoom in as much as possible so you can see here. So it's 100% noticeable. Why would they include that in the scope if it didn't mean anything. The fact that you can see that little person right there was totally a hint for something. So I asked the same question in my video breakdown of this teaser. I said, who is that and why do they appear in the scope? And I can't tell you how many people swore to me, 100% certainty that the little man inside the scope was none other than Monkey D. Luffy, AKA Straw Hat Luffy, AKA Straw Hat from One Piece. Now, let me put an image of him on the screen and you can see in the scope. So yeah, I can kind of see the resemblance. It did make sense. And a lot of people do think One Piece is coming to Fortnite. So that would have been one heck of a teaser, right? To see a One Piece character in a cinematic short for the brand new season, that's insane. Well, it turns out now that we've got the full short trailer for Artemis, it's not Luffy at all, unfortunately. So let me show you the full cinematic short trailer for Artemis. It's only 28 seconds long, and then we'll talk about it. Here you go. So the skin inside the scope was none other than Wrangler from Chapter 2, Season 1. How crazy is that? So that part was a little disappointing, but the trailer itself is really sweet. So we start at the beginning with the Cerberus wolves kind of growling, and then this part we actually saw in the other teaser trailer. She takes a pot shot at Wrangler, makes him drop his weapon and pull out his pistol from his back bling. And then we see the other original part from the teaser. And then Wrangler turns and runs away, and it zooms out to this awesome shot of Artemis. She sicks the Cerberus wolves on him, and then it goes to the title card. So was there much lore in this trailer? No. Was it still cool? Absolutely. And it looks like they're going to do one for at least a few, if not all, of the Battle Pass skins. Now, from the first trailer we got, remember we saw Artemis, which we just got. Then we saw Hades, so he's probably going to be next. Then we saw Ares next. But that's only three, so will they do the rest? I'm not sure. So what I hope is not gonna happen is the same thing that happened with the Fortnite crew back in the day. There was a set called the First Shadows. There were three skins that you could get from the Fortnite crew and Fortnite literally said, hey, we're gonna make these amazing trailers for these skins. It's gonna have a lot of lore tied to it. It's gonna be amazing. And they actually dropped the first trailer. It was for this skin right here, the Burning Wolf. And if I remember correctly, he was the first of the three to come out. So we got this awesome animated comic trailer and then they abandoned the project and we didn't get one for the other two skins and we didn't get a finale. So just in case you've never seen that trailer, let me play it for you right here. Tell me this is not awesome. Again, this is from two years ago for the Burning Wolf crew pack skin. Here you go. Most thought that the Burning Wolf was simply a legend. A story for weary soldiers to frighten the fresh recruits. But I promise you that he is as real as the tides and just as deadly. They say he is unstoppable, uncontrollable. But I say I have tamed the tides.
Now imagine getting one of those for every character in the Battle Pass. That would be insane. Obviously, the Artemis one that we just received was not in this style and it wasn't as long. But hey, I'll take these cinematic shorts any day of the week because I love them. So there you go. What do you think about this? I'm all for any kind of teaser trailer or more storyline involved animation with these characters. I love learning more about them. But like I said, let's just hope they don't go the way of the crew pack trailers, which apparently just vanished out of thin air and they never completed them. So stay tuned for more cinematic shorts on the Battle Pass skins. Like I said, I think Hades might be next, but we'll see. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.